Let me start with a question. Have you ever had that moment where you just need one file, but it's buried somewhere across five servers, three cloud platforms, and a remote office storage system? Raise your hand or just nod if you've been there. Yep, it's frustrating. Here's another one. Does your team complain about slow file access or versioning chaos? Or maybe they're drowning in duplicate files and don't know which one is the latest. If you're feeling that pain, you're not alone. Today, we're tackling a solution that's not only technical, but also strategic, distributed file systems, or DFS for short. But here's the kicker. Most people don't fully understand what a DFS can do, and those who do are often stuck figuring out how to implement it the right way. Stick with me for the next few minutes, and you'll get clarity on both. Okay, let's start with a simple mental exercise. Close your eyes unless you're multitasking and picture your organization's data right now. Where is it stored? Some of it might be on a cloud platform like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. A chunk could still be on on-premises servers. And let's not forget those random external drives or legacy systems someone forgot to decommission. If your data looks more like a scattered puzzle than a cohesive picture, you're not alone. This is the reality for most organizations. But here's where distributed file systems come in. Imagine if all your data, yes, all of it, lived in one virtual folder. This folder doesn't care where the data physically resides. It connects your cloud storage, on-prem servers, and even remote sites into a single unified structure. Sounds like magic, right? Let's break it down. Quick poll, what do you think is the biggest challenge with data today? Is growing too fast to manage? Is too fragmented across systems? Is not secure or compliant? If you said all of the above, you're spot on. Data growth isn't just a challenge, it's a tidal wave. But managing that growth, especially when data is scattered across multiple platforms, is where the real chaos begins. Here's how distributed file systems simplify the mess. A DFS creates a virtual map of all your files across your infrastructure. It doesn't duplicate or move the data. It just knows where everything is and makes it accessible in a seamless way. Pop quiz, how do you think a DFS retrieves your data? By copying everything into one giant server. By magically knowing where it is and fetching it instantly. By dividing your data into chunks and retrieving them intelligently. If you picked option three, you nailed it. Here's how it works. Metadata servers act like librarians, cataloging every file and knowing where it's stored. File storage nodes are the actual shelves holding your data. And client nodes are the users or applications that access the files without worrying about where they're stored. When a user requests a file, the DFS doesn't just pull it from one place. Instead, it retrieves pieces from multiple storage locations, optimizing speed, security, and efficiency. Let's talk about what this means for you. What's your top priority when it comes to data? Scalability? You've got it. Need more storage? Add nodes without downtime. Cost efficiency? Absolutely. Use tiering to move cold data to cheaper cloud storage and keep your hot data accessible. Or maybe it's collaboration. Imagine teams in different locations working on the same file in real time without versioning issues or delays. All right, let's get specific. Picture this, a healthcare organization needs instant access to patient records across multiple locations while maintaining compliance. A DFS makes this seamless. A manufacturing firm is sharing massive CAD files between global design teams. DFS eliminates lag and ensures everyone's working on the latest version. Or maybe you're in the tech world scaling up during a product launch. A DFS handles the surge in data requests without breaking a sweat. But let's be real, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Misconfigured distributed file systems can lead to high latency, data duplication, or even security risks. And nobody wants to explain a data breach to the board, right? So here's my challenge for you. How can you make sure your DFS implementation doesn't just work, but works right? Here's your checklist. Assess your data needs. Not every workload benefits from DFS. Know your use cases first. Choose the right solution, open source options like Ceph, enterprise-grade systems like Cohesity, or others like Storeware. Pick what fits your strategy. Implement tiering, move your cold data to cost-efficient storage while keeping hot data readily available. 
prioritize security, encryption, compliance, and regular audits aren't optional, they're essential. Still with me? Great. Here's one last thought. Distributed file systems aren't just a technology. They're a strategy, a way to align your data architecture with your business goals. They're about cutting costs, driving collaboration, and scaling your infrastructure without adding complexity. So what's your biggest data challenge right now? Drop it in the comments. I'd love to cover it in a future video. Found this valuable? Watch our playlists for more practical, executive-level insights on cloud architecture and digital transformation, and leading your business into the next era of growth. And don't forget to share this video with anyone who needs a clearer cloud strategy. Knowledge is power, and the more people who understand this, the more successful your organization will be. Simplify the cloud, amplify the impact.